Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Elhamdülillahi Rabbil alemin. Vessalatu vesselamu ala Resulina Muhammedin ve ala alihi ve sahbihi ecmain. In the name of Allah, most merciful, most compassionate. All praise be to Allah. Peace and blessings be upon the Prophet Muhammed and all the Prophets from Adam to him. Peace be upon them all. Also peace and blessing be upon the companions of the Prophets and who all those who follow the footsteps of the Prophets and the entire Ummah. Umma. To be a human is to err. To be a human is to forget. To be a human is to fail. To be a human is to neglect. To be a human is to be imperfect. To be a human is to regret and repent. This is the way that God Almighty, our Creator, has created us. We forget, we remember. We make mistakes, we turn from our mistakes to our Lord for repentance. And out of forgetfulness, and ignorance, all kinds of faults we may commit, commit are forgivable by Allah Almighty provided that they are not repeated, they are not to be repeated deliberately and intentionally. Then, as we approaching towards the end of this blessed month of fasting, it would be of great significance, even essential importance for our self-improvement if we all reflect closely on our shortcomings, especially in the fulfillment of our duties to ourselves, to our family, community, humanity, and to our Creator. These are crucial moments days and nights for self-reflection, self-examination, self-reckoning. Most importantly, these are the most opportune time for us uh, to ask forgiveness of, all, of, of Allah Almighty and turning to Him in full sincerity with all our full heart. And let us now reflect on the question of how to take full advantage of these days of the month of Ramadan. As we learn from the teachings of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, the last 10 days of Ramadan have a very special status as the most opportune time for us to intensify our efforts, good works, good deeds, charities, repentance, and supplication. The Prophet himself set an example by remaining vigilant and keeping his whole family vigilant and wakeful and at nights and urging them to do extra devotional ritual practices and uh, making entreaties to of Allah Almighty for forgiveness. And in particular, in this last 10 days of Ramadan, this powerful night, a night which is the greatest of all the nights, as we learn. It's very similar, the greatest day of all the days uh, in, throughout the year, the day of Arafat. So day of night and day of Arafat are very similar in terms of getting benefits from these two uh, you know, occasions. So Prophet, peace be upon him, used to do what we call self-reflection meditation, tefekkur and tedebbur and tezekkur, in, in other words, like repentance. And it is called etikaf. Etifak means a retreat, very similar to what we have all been doing almost more than two months, which in, which in our self-isolation. So this kind of practice has already been highly recommended by the Prophet peace be upon him, for our own purpose and benefit. So we, we may take this opportunity and to exercise this beautiful practice of the Prophet, peace be upon him. After all, it was the Prophet, though he was forgiven for his errors, though he was pure and clean, and uh, uh, as a model 
uh, pious person for all humanity, like all the other prophets before him. But yet, he sets exa an example for us. He was telling, "Inni la astaghfirullah fi kulli yawmin sabiin mara, or mi'a mara in another hadith." So, I truly ask the pardon of Allah, forgiveness of Allah, 70 times every day or 100 times of, of, of the, uh, every day. So it is clear then, in spite of our imperfections, shortcomings, Allah Almighty cares for us, loves us. And we are loved and, in, and uh, 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 cared by our Lord. He, after all, left the door of his mercy open, his compassion and forgiveness wide open for us, but with what one stringent condition attached to it. That is, we should sincerely turn him in full repentance, ask for his forgiveness, and like a child who is crying to her mother for her care and trying to draw her attention to her side. We are supposed to be more or less in the same condition as the baby making her entreaty to her beloved mother. So Allah Almighty, we have to also do the same thing. Let me reflect uh, as part of our uh, 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 lecture on several verses of the Quran in this context, one of which comes from uh, Surah Al-Anam, chapter 6, 54. وَإِذَا جَاءَكَ الَّذِينَ يُؤْمِنُونَ بِآيَاتِنَا فَقُلْ سَلَامٌ عَلَيْكُمْ كَتَبَ رَبُّكُمْ عَلَى نَفْسِهِ الرَّحْمَةِ أَنَّهُ مَنْ عَمِلَ مِنْكُمْ سُوءًا بِجَهَالَةٍ ثُمَّ تَابَ مِنْ بَعْدِهِ when those uh, come to you, meaning certain believers, and have come to the Prophet, and of, imagine that we are going to the Prophet in this ayah. Those come to you, who are these who believe in our verses, in the verses of the Quran, signs of Allah, you should say to them, the Prophet, what? Salamun alaykum. Peace be upon you. Your Lord has prescribed upon himself mercy. That any of you who does a wrong out of ignorance, then repentance after that and corrects himself or herself, Indeed, Allah is forgiving and merciful. Full stop. So, committing an error, a wrong, a sin out of ignorance. One, repenting to Allah for that wrong. Two, amending and correcting ourselves. Three, and Allah Almighty will forgive in the end. Four. So some of the instructions and recommendations we can derive from this verse are as follows. Number one, the message of this verse is very clear. It appeals to all believers who have faith in the words of Allah. And though a specific address has been made to Prophet, he said, O Prophet, say to them, Salamun alaykum, peace be upon you. This address is applicable to all the members of his community, Ummah, فَقُلْ سَلَامٌ عَلَيْكُمْ So very important, you should give comfort. And then in encountering with a believer, we are expected to salute him or her, despite the fact that he may be embarrassed, he may be regretful coming to us. So the best antidote, the best cure we can extend to the heartbroken fellow, heartbroken first person or a person, a friend who feels embarrassed and regretful for his or her errors is to greet him or her with soft, heartfelt words, 
coming from us very smoothly selamun aleikum peace be upon you then again we are advised to approaching these believers with a compassion even if they have come to us after they had made as something very bad and committed sin without knowing annahu man amila minkum su'an bi jahala that is the expression in the ayah so we have no right according to the verse to look down upon anyone because of his or her errors and mistakes this is how i understand this quran as i said quran is a direct message as if allah almighty is speaking to us directly so after all our lord as i have says has promised he all our lord has prescribed upon himself mercy meaning that he looks at his servants with mercy treats them with mercy then why not we if kataba rabbukum ala nafsihi ra'a rahma then kataba in a sense ala ala nafsina ala nufusina ar rahma then we have to do the same thing we have to emulate the character traits of allah almighty and the, we are also recommended meaning that if you do something wrong or something reprehensible out of ignorance we should immediately repent for it and turn to our lord and ask for his forgiveness thumma taba min ba'dihi that's the meaning of it. but the ayah doesn't end here there is a further element further step right after repentance what what they say this Uh, 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 doesn't stop here and as we are further asked to amend our mistake amendment correction correct ourselves right after repentance there comes amendment wa aslaha as quran specifies and spells it so in doing all these acts we ought to bear in mind that allah almighty is ghafur as i says all forgiving and also all compassionate hence we should hope for his forgiveness and mercy also we should exercise and compassion and mercy fa annahu ghafurur rahim allah almighty has taken upon himself that mercy and that uh, mercy shall be shown to all humanity all in a sense believers of course provided that they have believe in the words of allah and repent for their errors and also make amendment and corrections which i will explain shortly just as every mistake every error can be corrected by genuine efforts every sin too can be forgiven by sincere repentance and self correction so tauba repentance and islah al amal correct correcting Uh, misdeeds require the sinner or the committer of the wrong the feeling of what we call remorse regret embarrassment and restoring and redressing it if possible right away if not performing something good instead therefore allah says inna allah yuhibbu at-tawwabin wa yuhibbu al-mutatahhirin you see Uh, it is uh, surah al-baqarah 222 indeed surely allah loves those who are constantly repentant because they were constantly frequently repentant that's why the prophet said i do every day 70 uh, 75 times or 100 times and also he loves emphasis wa yuhibbul mutatahhirin and also those who purify them what means purify themselves correcting themselves and making amendments so wastafiru rabbakum thumma tubu ilayhi inna rabbi rahimun wadud now here is even more even explicit and ask from your lord or ask you know uh, forgiveness or seek forgiveness from your lord and turn to him how in repentance and prophet says my lord is certainly all merciful all loving now here even not uh, ghafur 
like accepting the forgiveness, but also loving Bedud, one of the names of Allah, all loving. And here, I, I maybe insert a, a further recommendation by spiritual master Mevlana Muhammad Jalaluddin Rumi. He has a chapter in, the, in, the, in his Masnavi, and he says, the door of repentance is open. Explaining that the door of repentance is open. And he says, listen, my friend, take precaution for through bounty, through favor of Allah, the door of repentance is open. And then what? From the quarter of the West, a door of repentance is open to mankind till the t time of judgment, resurrection. What does he mean by the uh, West? And he will explain in the next couplet. Till the sun lifts up, rises, you know, or uh, till the sun lifts up its head from the West. The door is open, the door is open. Then never avert your face from it. Never turn your face from the door of repentance. What it means, and in the West meaning, of course, one of the signs of Day of Judgment, the sun will rise from the West instead of East. So, since the Qiyamah has not broken yet, has not come yet, the door of repentance is open and hurry, do your repentance. That is what it means. So, Mevlana continues. By the mercy, of course, meaning by the mercy, by uh, Rahmah of Allah, Paradise has eight doors. One of these eight doors is the door of repentance, O oh, my son, Mevlana says. All the doors are sometimes open, sometimes closed, shut. But never is the door of repentance but open. So, therefore, Mevlana urges us, uh, you know, come, seize the opportunity. Door is open, door is open. Carry your baggage there at once, in spite of the Satan's envy. Envies. Satan is looking and even trying to prevent you. And defeat that and go to the door of repentance. So, for, for this end of quotation, for the rectification of our mistakes and sins, Allah Almighty provides us with a practical step, practical method. Let, let us give our ears and, and lend our ears to this verse. Uh, Tawbah, even the name of the surah, Tawbah, repentance, because of significance, we have a chapter uh, by the name repentance. 104. أَلَمْ يَعْلَمُوا أَنَّ اللَّهَ هُوَ يَقْبَلُ التَّوْبَةَ عَنْ عِبَادِهِ وَيَأْخُدُ الصَّدَقَاتِ وَأَنَّ اللَّهَ هُوَ التَّوَّابُ الرَّحِيمُ Do they not know, meaning us, that it is Allah who accepts rep repentance from His servants? He will accept. And receives charities. And that it is Allah who is the accepting of repentance and merciful. You see, repentance in these words appears to be linked, even followed, by charity, which would mean that the person who commits a wrong or a sin should repent for it right away and also give charity to get rid of the residual effects of the wrong that he or she has committed. And it's very important. So Allah offers us a way through which we can even clear and cleanse uh, our errors and, and like a um, clean slate. We will return our scroll into a clean, clean slate. We, and that, that is, we will not leave any residual effects of the wrong that we might have committed so long as we complete our uh, repentance, 
complement it by giving charity. So sadaka. So sadaka is expected to remove such residual effects and renders repentance perfect, leading ultimately to perfect purification in the end. And even further, and it, uh, Allah says, He, Allah, it is He who accepts repentance from His servants, pardons the evil deeds, and, and uh, of course, uh, and He knows what you do. Therefore, there is a hadith. At-Taibu Habibullah. Wa-Taibu Kemal La Dambala. You know, the person who repents for his sins is loved by Allah, is beloved of Allah. And one who has repented would be like one who has never committed sin. Therefore, uh, in these days, uh, uh, the Prophet has given a beautiful recommendation. Allahumma inna ka'afuun tuhibbu l'afa. O oh Allah, you are forgiven, forgiven, loud to forgive and forgive me. Of course, we can make it plural, forgive all of us. This is, in a sense, a process of self-purification also. And not on amendment, also purification. And after self-examination, muhasabe, after diagnosing our errors, mistakes, and, and making repentance, and Alhamdulillah, we are saying, and I have reached the end of self-purification. My dear friends and viewers on our program, I would like to again uh, bring to uh, our presentation and a quotation from the teaching of Mamlana, just to elaborate further. You know, he says, life without repentance is full of agony and like a intense pain of spirit. It is in fact to become absent from Allah. If you are not repenting, you seem to be absent from Allah, which Mevlana says it is death itself. If you are away from Allah, if you are absent from Allah, mean for you, you are literally dead. So, and the, uh, without Allah, there is no water of life. There is no life. And the, uh, if you have, therefore, he says, uh, dirtied or blackened, uh, in, in other words, if you have uh, uh, filled your record, your scroll, with full of errors, before it is too late, repent of the deeds you did for, formerly. Through uh, your repentance, these will be wiped out. Mevlana continues, though your life has passed, this moment that you are in is the root of your life, if you really be conscious of it. Because you should water it with the water of repentance and, and moisture, moisture it and cleanse it. Giving the living water to the root of your life, the present moment, in order that the tree of your life may become green and you will, re you will rejuvenate your life, he says. By this water, all past sins and errors are made good. By this last year's poison is made a sugar. So Allah has changed your evil de deeds in order that what has preceded may become holy piety for you because of the grace of Allah. And Mulana reminds us in reference to a verse, but you should make such a repentance as similar of Nasu. And I will just give the uh, yeah, ayah shortly about Nasu. So therefore it says, strive earnestly both with body and spirit. Hear from me, Mulana says, the description of this repentance of Nasu, if you have believed, believe afresh. Ya ayyuhalladheena aminu tubu ila Allahi tawbatan nasuha. This is Surah Tahrim 66, verse number 8. What it means, you should 
make a repentance and I'm referring to Allah, referring to believers. Oh, believers, turn to Allah with sincere repentance, which means with the intention of never going back to the errors you committed and never repeating the same mistakes, same errors that you committed. And so, and then you should raise your hands, accept my repentance, O oh Allah. This once more, you should say. And uh, 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 if we turn to him with real repentance, as we, are, uh, as we like, understand from the verse, such a way that, oh Allah, I will not break it till my soul shall be separated from my body. Again, this is also something that we uh, remember from the teaching of Mevlana Rumi. And so in these days and nights, these are golden opportunities. Without missing and losing these opportunities, let us realize we are human beings. We are not perfect. We will continue to make errors. But if we insist on our errors, deliberately, intentionally, we are no longer human even lower than, you know, the bestial beings. Therefore, self-realization, self-reflection, and uh, nowadays will help us to bring back to our roots, our humanness, uh, our inability, our limitations, realization of our dependency on Allah Almighty and keeping our uh, selves uh, focused on uh, uh, like on our sincere devotion to him by also acting uh, fulfilling performing our duties diligently and fervently lovingly and caringly and inshallah uh, Allah Almighty will forgive all of us so long as we are sincere and devoted to Him in all the time and under all circumstances. May Allah's peace, blessings, mercy and love be upon you all. السلام عليكم